You've probably heard it said that before, that glass is a liquid. Maybe you've even seen those old stained glass windows and thought, hey, look at that glass really does flow like a liquid over time. But is that really true? What makes glass so special, and why do so many people think it's a liquid? The idea that glass is a liquid has been around for a while. I mean, think about it. Glass does seem to change shape over time. Those old windows do look like they're getting more distorted, and that cathedral glass really does appear to be flowing. But here's the thing, just because glass changes shape slowly, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a liquid. So what's going on here? One reason for the confusion is that glass doesn't behave like other solids. Most solids have a crystalline structure with their molecules arranged in a neat and orderly fashion. But glass is different. Its molecules are all jumbled up like a liquid. So is glass a solid or a liquid? That's the central question, and it's one that we'll explore in more depth. The historical portrayal of glass as a liquid has also contributed to the confusion. For a long time, people thought glass was just a weird kind of liquid that happened to be really viscous. But that idea doesn't really hold up to scrutiny. If glass were really a liquid, we'd expect it to behave like one in certain situations, and it just doesn't. So let's talk about the science behind glass. Glass is made up of molecules just like any other substance. But what's key here is that glass has a molecular structure that's more like a liquid than a solid. In fact, glass is often referred to as an amorphous solid. That means its molecules are arranged randomly rather than in a nice, neat crystal lattice. The differences between amorphous solids and crystalline solids are really important. Crystalline solids like diamonds or quartz have molecules that are arranged in a repeating pattern. Amorphous solids, on the other hand, have molecules that are all jumbled up. And that's exactly what we see in glass. But here's the thing, just because glass is an amorphous solid, that doesn't mean it's not a solid. In fact, at room temperature, glass behaves like a solid in almost every way. It doesn't flow like a liquid, and it doesn't change shape spontaneously. So what does it mean for glass to be a solid if it's not like other solids? The key insight here is that glass is an amorphous solid, which means it has properties of both solids and liquids. But at the end of the day, it's still a solid. And that's what the scientific consensus is. Glass is a solid, not a liquid. So to sum it up, glass is an amorphous solid that has properties of both solids and liquids. But despite what you might have heard, it's not a liquid. It's a solid that behaves like a solid at room temperature. If you've got thoughts on this topic, I'd love to hear them. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think.